In today's video, I am showing off a rough demo for turn-based combat in C++ and OpenGL. It is very bare bones, but I am excited to explain how it works. So the first thing I did when I created a new project was to make this simple scene here with 10 cubes. You can fly around and all the cubes are scattered about and they have their own texture and rotation. Each cube is made up of 12 triangles, two for each side, and each triangle stores data for its position, text coordinate, and normal. The next thing I did was set up combat. So I removed all but two of the cubes and locked the camera. Then I added a quad to the screen, which draws the UI texture on top of the cubes. It draws four buttons, an attack, block, energy, and reveal button. Then I check for whether the player clicks, and if it is within a certain X and Y, then I call a function that the button was clicked. The X and Y values map to where the buttons are on screen, and right now when a button is pressed, it only changes the color of the screen to match the color of the button. But that is quickly changed when I create a combat class, which stores two entities, a player and an enemy. Then I use this text header I made here to render text to the screen through the free type library. I write four variables to the screen, one for each button, and then I increase that number whenever the button is impressed instead of changing the color of the screen. Finally, I added the functions that handle all the combat steps. It is called every frame from the main render loop, and it heavily interacts with a variable inside the combat class called state, which is an enum storing all the steps in a round. The first thing it does is it checks if the state is initialized, and if so, sets up a seed for random numbers, sets the round number to one, and passes it to player start. Player start is simple. It resets the animation bool, determines how much energy the player gets, then passes, the then passes to player turn. And the amount of energy the player gets is equal to the round number, which stops at 6, plus how much energy you stored from the last round. Then player turn checks to see if you reveal, and if you do, it shows you the enemy's moves. Then it waits until you spend all your energy on attack, block, or energy, or reveal, before passing the turn to player attack. So attack, and then player attack starts by waiting for the attack animation to play, which is done in the main render loop by rendering two quads and moving them towards each other, which a number on each of them. Then it calculates how much damage to deal. It takes the number of attack points you have from your turn, how many you put into it, and then subtract how many enemy block points they have. And if your attack is higher than the enemy's block, you deal damage equal to the difference times your damage number. And if, you're at, if you attack, but the enemy has more block than you, you lose health equal to the enemy's damage from a counterattack. And then after this, it is passed to the enemy start. Enemy start, turn, and attack work in the same way as the players, just everything is flipped. So instead of comparing it to the enemy's block, it compares it to your block. And it uses their attack stat, calculates based on their energy, etc. However, instead of waiting for buttons to be pressed like yours does, it randomly decides to use the seed from before and just picks all of them at random. And as a going second advantage, the enemy gets to start with one extra energy in the first round. Then in the main render loop, we do not draw the button's UI during the enemy's turn, and instead we show their energy on the right. And we have a timer that waits so that the player can see how much energy they have before passing it back to you. But once the enemy's attack is finished, it passes back to player start. And then this cycle continues until someone else is reduced below zero, then the other person wins. All right, that is all I made for today. I hope you enjoyed it, even if it was a very simple demo. Uh, comment down below any ideas you have for this and click on this video here where I explain the idea behind this game as this is devlog one. And until next time, see ya.